Hello everybody, this is El St. John joining me today again, my son. Hello. Ben, and um, today we want to deliver a rose for a soul. Um, we chose to talk to you about this very important subject in manifesting. And I'm gonna let my son Ben tell you more about it. Um, what we wanna talk about today is um, ego, choosing your ego. What ego means is when when you're too self um, right, concentrated, concentrated too right? Too much on yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, it is very important mm -hmm. to have uh, the right amount of love for yourself. Exactly. Most definitely. Um, but if you're trying to conquer another person or the same person back into your life, someone that left and and you want him or her back into your life, then you also got to think of the other person. And yes, you may be in a situation where you're crying, where you're hurt, and as much as you want that other person to talk to you or as much as you want to talk to that person, you want him or her to um, make the first move. So in making the first move, sometimes we really, in wanting that other person to make the first move, sometimes we don't get very far because we're just too, we've got too much pride, we've got too much ego. You know, it is good to have pride and ego up to a certain extent. Right. Okay, most definitely. You know, you value yourself, you value others, and that's great. You know, that's a sign of respect, that's a sign of, uh, of, of good being you know you have to respect yourself and yes you have to respect others okay but if let's say you are waiting and waiting for that person that loved person yeah you so much love you so much love okay remember in a biblical scripture there is a verse that reads love is special okay Love will take, you know, has the capacity of taking certain things, of forgiving. And sometimes um, when we don't forgive, you know, we're only hurting ourselves. And if you truly want a person, you truly want to manifest that loved person, that, that person you want back into your life, uh, you got to be ready to forgive and forget and sometimes pride and ego doesn't let us do that mm -hmm. so we're only hurting ourselves you're only hurting yourself if you've got too much of that ego and too much of that pride mm -hmm. okay work on yourself meditating uh, love yourself first that is very important yes it is but in order for you to manifest that other person into your life you got to get rid of the anxiety, as we've said before, the excessive amount of ego and the excessive amount of pride, which do not take you anywhere. If you really want that person back into your life, then you take that next step. What does that next step involve? Maybe calling him or her, texting her, texting him. You've got nothing to lose. At this point in time, if you're crying and loaning for that person you love, that person is already lost. All that can happen from now on is you can start gaining, recuperating that person back into your life. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that sound good? Mm -hmm. It does. It sounds really good. Oh, well, yeah. put it to practice. Put it to practice, my friend. Just a few days ago, my son Ben tells me, Mom, you know, you we can manifest without pride. You want to explain a little more on that one? Yes, we can manifest without pride by believing in ourselves and that everything is possible. Yes, yes, and you know, pride is pride and ego, excessive ego and mm -hmm. excessive pride are negative vibrations. They can be very negative and they can work against you, especially if you're trying to manifest a loved one back into your life. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you got to just have enough pride to love yourself and to love yourself a lot mm -hmm. and to take care of yourself and you know value yourself and give you yourself give yourself that worth and 
you know, we've, we've talked about this before. You know, love yourself first in order to love others. But, you know, know exactly if you really want that other person, you know, get rid of the excessive pride, the excessive ego, and make the next step. Be the one showing that you truly love and care. And I'm pretty sure that that other person will appreciate that. And maybe that is what that loved one is waiting for. For you to just make the next move. You know, he or she may be crying for you. But, you know, in you showing that person that you really want him or her back into your life. Or you want to be a part of their life. You know, you're, you're making that next step. You're taking that next step. You're making it possible for the two of you to be together. It's worth a try. At this point in time, if you are not with your loved one, in a way, you feel that you've lost a lot. So from now on, you can start gaining back. Exactly. Gaining back that loved one, that loved special person. Mm -hmm into your life mm -hmm. so good luck to you lots of love lots of love for yourself and for that other person so the best to you from a sweet spot here in sunny southern california namaste, namaste. and blessings namaste